Welcome back to today's Premier Experts. I'm your host, Ray Perez. And today I have a very special celebrity guest, Mr. Les Brown. Welcome to the show, Mr. Thank Les. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you, Mr. Charisma. What a great smile you have. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, there is no one that I have ever met that makes me feel more warm and makes me smile this much than you, sir. Thank so you, you so that. much. I appreciate that. Well, thank you for taking the time to be on the show. I mean, I know you're busy traveling. I know you had an event this weekend. Mm -hmm. You're speaking. You're, you ha you're, you're an author. You're traveling across the country and sometimes global. I know that you don't like those long flights, but yes. you know, share a little bit for those who don't know who you are and how amazing you are. Share a little bit about your background and how you've gotten to this point in your life. Well, first of all, I just think it's fascinating <laughs> that I'm known everywhere around the world except the place where I'm from, which is right here in Miami. I was born in Liberty City with my twin brother, Wesley, uh, 62nd Street Northwest 17th Avenue in Liberty City, an abandoned building on a floor. And we were adopted when we were six weeks of age. And I went to Douglas Elementary School in Overtown. I was labeled educable mentally retarded when I was in the fifth grade, put back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade. Fell again when I was in the eighth grade at Booker T. Washington High School here in Miami. And, but I ran into a teacher my junior year. His name was Leroy Washington. I eulogized him. They called him the great communicator. And one day when I was in his, his room looking for a friend named Mac Arthur Stevens, he said, young man, go to the board and work this problem out for me. I said, sir, I can't do that. He said, why not? I said, I'm not one of your students. And this, this student started laughing. And he said, do the problem anyhow. And I said, I can't, sir. And they said, he's DT. And they said, what's DT? He's a twin. His brother Wesley is smart. He's Leslie. He's the dumb twin. And I said, I am, sir. And he came from behind his desk. He looked at me. He said, don't you ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. And that was a, a turning point in, in my life. As you know, Ray, how people live their lives is a result of the story they believe about themselves and he interrupted my story and that really changed my tra trajectory of my life and I've traveled around the world speaking in over 50 countries and speaking for corporations and organizations teaching them how to live their dreams rather than their fears. And I love that. You have such an inspirational story. And, and for tho those of you that want to hear the full story, uh, at the end of this episode, we'll give you that information so you can watch uh, Les's uh, entire story of how he came to, to be who he is today. But, you know, now currently, fast forward to the present, you know, you're, you're again, you're, you're speaking across the, the globe. Yes. Uh, you've created an amazing organization that helps uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, and professionals uh, kind of step out of their comfort zone and their shell and, and really bring out the greatness in them. Yes. Can you share a little bit about that organization? Yes, we have Les Brown Unlimited. And, and what we do for entrepreneurs, for, for people that have a goal or dream or a product or something that they want to promote, whatever product they have in their business, it has a story. And you are the storyteller if you're the owner. So we teach you how to communicate your message, how to make a, a point, how to make a difference, how to make a greater impact with your communication. So we train people to become speakers and earn money as speakers and trainers and life coaches. Uh, in addition to that, we train speakers how to begin to go national and to become global with their message to make a greater impact. And I do private one-on-one -on -one coaching with a select number of people because my goal at this stage of my life, man, I'm in my 74th year on the planet. I used to think people in their 40s were old. Now that I'm in my 74th year on the planet, I feel like I was a waiter at the Lord's Supper. <laughs> I'm old as Methuselah. So I work with a select number of people, teaching them how they can take their, their story. Knowledge is the new currency. There's no such thing as job security. According to the Department of Labor, over 20,000 people are losing their jobs every day due to artificial intelligence and computers and various technologies. So we teach people how to reinvent themselves, how to control their own personal economy, but most importantly, how to take their knowledge and their experiences and be able to build a multi-million dollar corporation just as I have, and, and it can evolve into a billion dollar corporation. 
Well, so I, I love the fact that you help people who really want to take their speaking, their story, and, and their business to the next level. But what if someone just says, you know, I, I have an amazing story, but I've never uh, thought about being a speaker, or I don't even know where to start. Can, can they still attend and, and be part of the program? Yes, anybody, if, if, even if you don't know how to do it, that's, that's where we come in. You don't have to know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. See, at the end of the day, Ray, all of us are born the same way, dumb, naked, and speechless. <laughs> okay, we don't know. I didn't do what I'm doing now for 14 years, and I had a friend who believed in me, and, and I used to work at WMBM radio station here in Miami. But I went to Columbus, Ohio, and I was the program director and the manager of station operations. And a friend of mine who was my news director said, hey, you know what, Brownie? You can do more than just be a radio personality. I said, man, what else can I do? He said, you can speak like Dr. Norman Vincent Peale and Zig Ziglar and, and Tony Robbins and all those dudes. I said, but man, I don't have a college education. I ever worked, never worked for a major corporation. I said, I don't have the ability to do that. And, and he said to me, hey, you don't know what you can do. He said, hmm. you got to challenge yourself and get outside of your comfort zone. <coughs> and it took him a long time to convince me, and I finally did. And the rest is history. I've been selected among the top five speakers in the world. All four of them, they're gone, so now I'm the last man standing. <laughs> you know? And so it's been interesting. I'm traveling. I've spoken to over 80,000 people in the Georgia Dome. If people go online and put in Les Brown speaking in the Georgia Dome, they'll see me giving that presentation. And it's, it's been really a good experience of changing and transforming millions of lives around the world. And speaking for AT&T, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's Corporation, General Electric, it's been a great journey and I'm excited about training others how to do that as well. Now, you, you obviously have a very inspirational story. Um, you, you've helped change thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. Um, why do you do what you do? Because I'm a, I'm a person who was, has been the beneficiary of someone seeing something in me and believing in me at a time that I didn't believe in myself. I believe that we all have a story and have the opportunity to make a difference. And Horace Mann said, we should be ashamed to die until we've made some major contribution to humankind. And I believe that everybody has a desire to leave their mark, has a desire to be able to create a difference in the world for generations today and for generations yet on board. I'm a grandfather and I'm a great grandfather of four boys. And so my goal is to leave the world in better shape than how we see it right now. Because I believe, Ray, that all of us are born unique. But most people die copies. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, Miles Monroe, who, who perished in a plane crash, he was a great orator, he said, live full, die empty. That, that most people go to their graves with their talents, their abilities, their dreams in them, as opposed to coming here and realize that you were created on purpose with a purpose. There's something that you're supposed to do. God saw something in you. You are a masterpiece because you're a piece of the master. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, that just like got me right there. And, um, and, and, and like that quote, you have so many others that I've heard you share. And, and that's something that I've noticed is, it, you know, there's a lot of people that, that speak at events and, and yes. give motivation and give inspiration. But when you can really touch people and move them, and that creates uh, um, breakthroughs in their life, not only in that moment, but in their future. And, and I love that you can bring that to the audience and to the stage. So, you know, I appreciate when you come speak at my events and if anyone's looking to, uh, to have Les speak at their events, definitely reach out to him because he's probably one of the best speakers I've ever seen, ever. And, yeah, I'm uh, a legend in my own mind. <laughs> and in mine. <laughs> okay, thank you, yes. So, uh, anything else you want to share, Les? Well, here's, here's what I, I know. In order to make it today, the three things that's crucial. There are many things that we must employ, but there are three things that's major right now for people. Number one is mindset. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of chaos that's going on in the world today. And, and so in order to handle that, you're gonna take some hits. My favorite book says, think it not strange that you're face to fire furnaces of this world. You will not, you might, you will have tribulations. You look at what the Trump administration is doing and, and the kind of chaos and fear and anxiety that the environment he's creating in this country is very divisive and, and, and very hateful. 
and it, it, it creates an uncomfortable environment if you're an immigrant in this country and what he's doing with DACA. And I oppose that, okay? And so you, you've got to have the mindset and resiliency that you're not going to allow the external things to get the best of you. And the second thing is that you have to have a skill set, some value that you bring, because you don't get paid for the hour, you get paid for the value that you bring to the hour. And the third thing is that's important is creating collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships. Just like right now, you're exposing me to an audience that I don't have. And so this, this, this collaborative, achievement-driven relationship is beneficial to me. And there's some things that I have that you don't have that I can create some value to you. Mm -hmm. And so when we create collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships, you can't make it by yourself being solo today. You've got to have alignment with people that can help you get to that next level. I do believe that we live in the greatest country in the world. I do believe that we're living in a very turbulent, uncomfortable time. But this has not come to stay. This has come to pass. We will get through that. I want people who are watching right now, don't give in, do not give up. I'm a 21-year cancer conqueror. The doctor said to me 21 years ago, your chances of survival uh, past six to eight months were uh, slim to none. I said, I'll take slim. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and one to four is normal. My PSA has been as high as 2,400 and, and metastasized to seven areas of my body. However, as we look at ourselves and look into the future, we're going to always take some hits. I believe the doctors should never tell someone they're terminally ill. What they should say is that my ability and talents to help you has terminated now you need to explore some other options. And I believe that's true in life, that, that don't just decide because you encountered a no or because you had a setback. Willie Jolly says a setback is a setup for a comeback. I've got a saying, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a couple things that you just said that I always share with anytime I'm speaking, coaching, consulting, and number one is team. And you have an amazing team and, and the organization, uh, Les Brown Unlimited, is that team now that people can plug into, which I yes. love that you've created that, and, and having a coach and mentor. Yes, because you can't read the label if you're locked in the box. It's very important that you can have someone that can see in you what you can't see. It's very important today to surround yourself people that you can learn from, that you can grow from, people that have some knowledge that you don't have, resources and contacts. Dr. Dennis Kimbrough out of Atlanta said, if you're the smartest one in your group, you need to get a new group. So practicing the principle OQP, only quality people. You earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. Just practicing that principle, it, it, it took me just three years to earn my first million. Now given where I started in Liberty City with no college training, if my birth parents came in the studio and said, hello son, I would not know either one. That, that's that's a, a pretty good feat, you know, a million dollars and a good God and a healthy hog, and you can make it through the winter, oh, even yeah. in Miami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I love that, and I love the fact that you are now opening all this opportunity to so many people with uh, the organization, the Les Brown Unlimited. And, uh, and you know, when, when, whenever people meet you, what, what is the one thing you want them to leave with? I want people to realize that they're greater than they think they are. You know, we're taught in my favorite book, Scripture says, be ye not conformed to this world. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, the renewing of your mind. They're like your program, and I want to congratulate you on what you're doing. What we do and how we impact people, we distract, dispute, and inspire. We distract them from the story they believe about themselves. Mm. And because of our example, we dismantle their current belief system, and we inspire them to reach higher, to go beyond their comfort zone, because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. And so I want people to know that, that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world, that you're made in the likeness image of God. You've been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth. And even though that's true, and most of us will never exercise authority and dominion over our lives until we exercise authority and dominion over what we are not. 
See, we live in a world where we're told more about our limitations rather than our potential. So between the ages of zero and five, according to Martin Seligman, who wrote the book called Learned Optimism, a word is formulated. That word is yes or that word is no. Based upon the conversations you hear, the people around you, the things that you see. And so we have to overcome the mental conditioning and hold a vision of ourselves in the future, living and doing the things that we desire to do. Walt Disney said the, the imagination is the preview of what's to come. And so having a persist, persistent vision of what it is you want to do with your life, working on yourself and surrounding yourself with people that become achievement-driven factors in your life that will drive you to the next level. I want people to know that if you want to make it today, you've got to be hungry. People that are hungry believe always try to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. People that are hungry, they take no prisoners and eat the wounded. <laughs> That's one way to put it, and I yes. love it. And, and let me share with you that for, for several years now, when I'm traveling speaking about personal branding, prior to meeting you, I, always, I used to tell people that I help find, pull out the greatness within people mm -hmm. and create it into a digital presence. Wow. After meeting you, now I say, like my good buddy Les Brown, yes. I help pull out the greatness in you. So, yes. so everything you just said, I completely agree and I share and I mention you in every speech that I do. Oh, thank you. And I actually have a picture of us from one of our events yes. because I've been using this terminology of every person has amazing greatness. Yes. And they just need someone to help pull that out. You are and absolutely bring it into right. The world. So I love that we're on that same page. Yes. And I just wanted to let you know that I, I mention you in every single event that I ever do. We were designed for greatness, as you know, Ray, but we've been programmed to fail. Mm -hmm. And so when you're pursuing your greatness, you don't know what your limits are, so you act like you don't have any. And what you do with this program and with your speeches and, pre and presentations that you provide, you allow people to get a glimpse of that greatness and inspire them to reach for it. And I appreciate that so much. Les, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. The Thank you so right. much. Thank you. I look forward to having you again. Yes, and but one last thing. Yes. I want you to help me get a six pack like you. I got a one pack right now, but if you could help me with a six pack, this is what he's referring to, okay? And uh, this was a guy I used to know two years ago. <laughs> well, I want to know him now. All right, well, we're, we're, uh, we got it. He got it on live TV, so now yeah. we're, we're going we're gonna to do that. I'm going right. to work with you, Les. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you for joining us on today's Premier Experts. I'm Ray Perez, reminding you to never leave for tomorrow what you can do today, and always stay true to your brand.